out from her soul, from the pit of my soul. Is there anybody in here besides me? You just got so upset that you cried and opened up your mouth and nothing came out? You ever been that upset? Tears are streaming down your eyes and I mean you... But nothing is coming out. That's coming from the depth of your spirit and of your soul. And you're crying out to the Lord. God, if you don't help me, it can't be done. But I still love you. I still trust you. And I still believe that you're going to make a way out of noise. Hannah came to the place. She put her faith on assignment. And even though her emotions was on high, she still knew that there was a God that sits higher. And looks down low and he was able to answer her. Not only was he able to answer her, but she still believed that he would. The Bible says she went to this temple and the man of God happened to be there called the high priest. And high priest began to judge her. Watch this. She's misunderstood by the most highest authority in her life. Watch this. First she was misunderstood I feel God. First she was misunderstood by her husband. The first authority. See you watch the order in church. Hello. She was first misunderstood by her husband and now she's being misunderstood by the pastor, by the priest, whatever you want to call him. And he told her that she was drunk. Really, Mr. Preacher? Really? Because I'm crying out in here. I gotta be drunk now. You think I've been sipping on the bottle? You think I had a little bit of wine? That's how bad she was out of control. He got to get to this place where this thing is just between you and God now. And all you need, I don't know about you, but I don't cry a whole lot, but I just need one good cry. Is there anybody here you just need one good cry? You just need one good shout. You just need one good shabak. You just need to throw one glass. I don't care what you need to do, but you just got to get it out. I believe that that was the day that Hannah decided. God, I believe that you're getting ready to bless me. So she began to cry out to the Lord and she says, Oh Lord of hosts, if you will indeed, if you will, look on my affliction. Look on the affliction of your servant. And watch this. I like that she says, And remember me. I don't know when you're going to do it, but I need you to remember me. And while you're blessing everybody else, I need you to bless me. She said, And forget not your servant, but I will give to your servant a son. And I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life. And no razor shall touch his head. Here's the key thing to my teaching today. It says, After. After being misunderstood twice. After praying. After being picked on. After being ostracized. After being the talk of the town. After being kicked out of the club. Hallelujah. The Bible says that after she said this prayer. She didn't say it under her breath. The Bible says after she said this prayer out loud. She continued. Watch this. She continued to pray in her heart. Not only did she cry out. But her heart kept praying unto God. I dare you to believe God to answer you concerning that promise that you've been waiting on a long time and you forgot one step. You cried out and you prayed out loud, but your heart stopped crying and stopped praying unto Him. The Bible says because she was doing this, she was misunderstood by authority again, and He complained and accused her of being a drunken woman. Watch this. After she explained the situation to Eli, Eli began to tell her, go in peace. I'm getting ready to go to the Lord for you. There's something about having somebody to believe what you believe. There's something about being connected to somebody that agrees like you agree. The power of agreement will get things done when nothing else will. So now she has the man of God on her side and she believes and he believes that God is going to answer her. I 
somebody left me after all of my investments was gone. After I invested everything, I'm on the other side of after. After two divorces, after two abortions, after two miscarriages, after being fired, after not getting paid when I'm worth what I'm worth, after I lost two cars, I'm the owner of five cars now. Stop it.